week ago to see where they were at. And I think I was in Redford. The only issue was is ours was probably a good six to eight inches taller than what they were cutting down there. I don't get to make that choice. We do have to wait for them to make the initial cut, and the city does supplement. We do have approval through MDOT. We supplement cut a couple cuts, probably three or four, um, depending on the grow, um, a year down there. So our uh, another hot topic right now is people are talking about Heritage Park. Because there's so much rain, we did, we did the cleanup last weekend. Everybody's shoes were absolutely soaked. It's that wet there. And I would rather the grass grow a little bit than to totally destroy the grounds. You know, we don't want, we're not using a push mower. You know, everybody, well, I gotta cut my front yard. You're using a push mower to do that. We're using heavy equipment, and I don't want to ruin our facilities by cutting, you know, with that type of equipment. So, yes, sometimes the grass gets a little longer, um, but that's what we're gonna continue to do. We want to keep our park looking as nice as possible. When we get the opportunity to cut it, we take advantage of that. I, I think we manage Heritage Park really well. All of our parks, I think we do. But when we get these rains two and three days apart, heavy downpours at a time, we're limited on what we can do. And um, you know, the parks tell me, and, I, and, and they have my blessing, that I would rather wait to cut grass before we destroy the park. Any other? Councilman oh, Johnson. Uh, we had an email uh, from a citizen about uh, concrete work on Monroe Street that was mm -hmm. done. Mm -hmm. Have we addressed that? And so, through, going on? so through the chair, a couple years ago, the work that we had done I've been in talks with many communi uh, communities, um, Mayor McCray and Romulus and uh, the, the mayor of Northville. Um, this is a regional situation. So uh, the good thing is, is that it doesn't look good in appearance, but it doesn't affect the, uh, you know, the integrity of the cement. It, it chipped away at the top. They believe it was a mixture situation like we ran into probably, what, 10, close to eight, nine years ago. Uh, on Superior, but this is more of an aesthetic situation. But because we're past our warranty, but we're trying to all get together and maybe look at saying, hey, we bought a faulty product, or our providers bought a faulty product. So the state's even involved too, because I believe the state used some of that cement mixed, uh, that was mixed here in Southeast Michigan. So um, we're trying to all work together as a team on this and address it. But the good thing is, it doesn't look good, but it, it still works, but we want to get it replaced if we can. Uh, through the chair, uh, to the chief, I don't know if possible you could touch on the two streets that we've been in contact about, because they remain several down.
Yes, absolutely. The dog actually, we're getting the first upgrade already. They're putting a tougher exoskeleton on it. But yes, the dog's been utilized a number of times already. Successful. Can you give us some, some background? I can, I'll give you a full report on all the technology and you expect that uh, with the email. Yeah, I was, uh, we had a, this fellow's concern that it's just expensive toys for big kids. <laughs> yeah, well, if it saves one life, it's not an expensive toy. Absolutely. And, and we're still having a hard time hiring people. Everyone knows that nationwide for police officers. And our technology supplements our lack of manpower. And the dog is a huge part of that. Yeah. Um, I wanted to ask the chief about um, the blinking stop signs. Are, are those working? Because I know over on Westlake, between Wick and Fairlane South, I don't know if you call it that, but um, they, they race right down there. I mean, tremendous feedback on the blinking stop signs. We've had uh, many people ask if we can put that everywhere. So uh, you'll probably see something coming from council fairly soon on uh, the purchase of some additional signs. But okay. yeah, we, yeah, we believe um, they have a very positive aspect on our traffic flow. Madam City Chairman, I've been seeing some stop signs that are blank.